In classic Doctor Who, there are several different alternate attachments for the Dalek manipulator arm that are used for a variety of purposes in different episodes. In this video, we are going to look at all the most notable manipulator arm attachments and explain their function. First up is of course the plunger, the first part of a Dalek ever seen in Doctor Who that is a distinctive part of the Dalek design and their primary tool for interacting with their surroundings, interfacing with their control systems and imposing their will on insubordinate humanoids. The Dalek plunger appears in every single classic Who Dalek story though there are some slight variations here and there, such as the Imperial Dalek version that has notches either side for interfacing with their control consoles. Up next is the blowtorch attachment, seen in The Ambush, the fourth episode of the first Dalek serial. Early Daleks used this blowtorch attachment to cut open doors. Several other incarnations of Daleks would also use a similar blowtorch-like device, such as the Blue Collar Dalek from the Peter Cushing movies and the Assault Dalek from Series 1 of New Who. Next we have the Flamethrower, also known as the Pyro Flame, seen in the Daleks Master plan. The flamethrower Daleks were deployed to burn down forests, clearing away dense vegetation to allow Dalek assault groups to advance. The scene of the three Daleks lighting up their flamethrowers is one of the most iconic aspects of this missing story, and flamethrower Daleks have appeared again in recent Doctor Who comics, such as The Only Good Dalek and The Dalek Project. And next we have the Seismic Detector, which featured prominently in The Chase, including this scene where the Daleks exterminate the poor Iridian. This device was used by the Daleks to detect things, and was usually used to seek, locate and exterminate their enemies. It could sense incoming lifeforms, and could be used to track lifeforms in motion from a distance. Up next there's the Electrode Unit. This device looked like a large dish, and was used by the Daleks to enter the mechanoid city in The Chase. Daleks deployed several different devices designed to manipulate electricity, including a cattle prod-like device which Dalek factory operators used to awaken mutants from cryogenic sleep. Next we have the sieve, also known as the mutant scoop, which was a device used by the Daleks in their factories to handle Dalek mutants. In the Dalek factory on Vulcan, Daleks with sieves would pick up mutants from storage, bring them to life with a jolt of electricity, and place them in empty Dalek shells, which were then fitted with weapons and deployed to the front line. Last we have the 70s era cutting tool. Planet of the Daleks revealed a new Dalek door cutter design, which was more streamlined and sturdy compared to the device seen in the ambush. This will be the last alternate manipulator arm attachment seen in the classic series. However, it is worth mentioning the claw arm that the Daleks use in the Peter Cushing movies. Not all of the Daleks have this claw, but it's an interesting deviation from the standard Dalek manipulator arm that adds a nice bit of variety to the already distinctive movie Daleks. What do you think of the classic Dalek arsenal of manipulator arm attachments? Would you like to see more of these alternate Dalek devices appear in the new series? What other Dalek tools and weapons would you like to see in the future? Let me know in the comments below.